Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am Joe Lo, the owner of a Dragon House MMA in San Francisco. Uh, our next upcoming huge event on the first round fight, August 19th, also at the heart of San Francisco, uh, Cow Palace. Uh, historical big building, 14,000 seating, so um, can't miss it. It's a giant show. Now, right next to me, we have Juan Bradell officially making his professional debut. We've been waiting for this for a long time now, Juan. We, every interview, I always ask you, when is the next time you're gonna turn pro? Let's introduce you once again to all the MMA fight fans out there. Who's Juan Vidal and where are you coming from? How's it going, everyone? Juan Vidal, uh, AKA The Poet, training out of San Jose, California, Cordero Martial Arts. Yeah, really excited to be making my professional debut on such a big show here in, uh, in Daly City at the Cal Palace. Now this event, it's probably gonna be the biggest regional MMA event in California. Uh, roughly, it's gonna be about 30 fights going down on this upcoming event. Uh, practically two events combined together. Uh, separately, the whole amateur event, 14, 15 fights, and then we have also another 14, 15 fights pro on this upcoming card. So the event, door opens at two at Cal Palace on August 19th. The first amateur fight kickoff is 3 p.m. So we're trying to wrap up the whole amateur card by around 6 p.m. And the pro will kick off around 6.30. And I believe yours is gonna be the first fight of the night okay. as a pro. And then your teammate will be somewhere in, you know, four or five, four or five pro fights down the line. Now, Juan, how long have you been doing the amateur um, MMA uh, 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 time frame? How long have you been an amateur? Yeah, so my first fight uh, was about two years ago. Um, yeah, almost on the date. So yeah, I've just been training since then. I've been training, you know, about 10 years on or off, more mm -hmm. or less during college, you know, took a little bit of time off, but yeah, it's been two years active competitive. And yeah. how how old are you right now, Juan? I'm 32 years old. So it's time, it's time now. Yeah, I think it's this, a good time. This, this is time now. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, no waste any more time on the clock. And um, you're fighting a veteran, mm -hmm. a vet of the sport. And uh, I'm, I know Maximus Garner is probably 10 plus years and he fought 10 years ago or something like that, 10 to 12 years ago. Yeah. And then uh, took a lot of times off, got families and kids and you know how lives goes. And now he's, you know, want to make his pro debut and and um, join the club, have some fun. I know he's a little older, but uh, let's see how, you know, how things going to turn out. Um, I will probably talk to him shortly when I come back the next few days. And uh, now Juan, how do you prepare for this moment? You know, uh, as an amateur, been talking to your coach and what made you want to just like, fuck it, let's turn pro. Yeah, I mean, we thought it was time. Mm -hmm. We've been training hard, um, staying on top of everything as far as training, nutrition, the, the mental aspect of the game. And yeah, we feel like we're at a position where I'm in the best shape I've ever been before. Um, been training, been battle tested in a lot of tough fights and, mm -hmm. and it's time, you know, we feel confident, we feel ready in our skills. and. It's even more exciting that we're fighting somebody who's also a veteran of the game themselves. So it's a good, a good test and a good way to see, you know, just another, another way to see where we need to work on and what we still need to level up. So yeah, exciting opportunity, definitely. Now, again, what, what do you do for a full-time job besides fight? Uh, so I'm a techie. I work in software. Uh, yeah, a lot of coding, a lot of just staring at a computer screen. So, you know, we need a little balance, get, get a little physical here and there. That's pretty good. So at least it's not like a construction job, eight hours labor, working sweat, then go to train. But at least you're sitting down there and just, you know, da, 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 da. and now you can just go to this, you know, go to the gym and sweat and train. So, uh, yeah. you know, that's why a lot of people nowadays, they want to chase the dream, be a full-time fighter. They just do DoorDash and you know live Uber, so they don't burn their body off, and then they can have chance of time to train. You know, so now on this upcoming fight, what do you know about your opponent, Maximus Um I know that he's like you said, a veteran of the game. He's been training maybe longer than I have even. I wouldn't be surprised. And uh, I know that he he's done some boxing. He has some amateur fights. Um, but yeah, other than that, I, you know, I know he's he's hungry. Um, I believe he's a little bit older than me, so he's gonna come in hungry. He's gonna come in, uh, you know, looking for the win. Nobody signs up for for a fight thinking we'll see how it happens, right? Everybody wants to come in and win, so uh, absolutely. Yeah, we're preparing accordingly, making sure that we're getting those tough rounds in, making sure that we're really pushing the gas tank, making sure that uh, we don't underestimate anybody, regardless of what their what their accolades or what their history might be, right? So yeah, just training hard, training smart, and 
and looking at all the past fights and seeing what kind of bad habits that I may have developed and just making sure we iron those out before the fight. The good thing about you, you're a seasoned fighter. You know, you've been active for the last couple of years, you know, mm -hmm. so one thing about Maximus, like, you know, he's been out, out of the game for a minute. Um, but I don't know what to expect him to do in the cage, you know, but I'm assuming you know, he's been around for a long time, marinating his skill set for a long time. I'm sure he probably trained in different gyms and, you know, over the years, you know, quite developing a, a, a good set of skills. So we'll see. We'll find out. You know, Maximus Garner versus Juan Vidal and um, two, two basically pro debut, first pro debut would be an interesting fight. Um, so now, if people want to get a hold of you, Juan, how can people contact you to get tickets to come watch me fight? Of course. I'm on uh, all social media platforms under El Poeta Nidal, um, Instagram, Facebook, IG. Uh, yeah, feel free to reach out to me anywhere there. Um, you can stop by the gym, Cordero Martial Arts, get a hold of us that way. Uh, reach out to Cordero Martial Arts. Excuse me. Um, yeah, you can get a hold of us there. Yeah, come through, check out, uh, support the fighters, right? I say this every time, but uh, yeah, yeah. you only see a very small portion of the, of what it really is to be a fighter, right? You come in, you see the fights, a couple minutes, boom, boom, in and out, right? But it, it's a lot of sacrifice and a lot of dedication that it takes. So, uh, yeah, come through and, and see a lot of talented and, and passionate individuals just get after it, you know, do yeah. what they love to do. I mean, in the cage, it's going to be three, five minute round. I mean, behind the cage, it's basically like, eight to ten weeks and then sometimes take months and months of uh, right. preparation trainings weight cuts and diet the, all the whole nine yard yeah. so now this is the 535 pound fight what do you walk around weight right now right now about 155 153 ish i kind of fluctuate between so yeah we'll, we'll probably stay there for the remainder of the fight camp and then two three weeks before start start to cut down just so we don't have to cut down too much mm -hmm. the week of the fight do you ever think about moving down to 25 um, yeah, I have thought about it, but cutting an extra 10 pounds, so it's a lot. it seems like a lot. Because yeah. once you hit to a certain point, like, the next few extra pounds is going to be really struggle. Yeah, yeah, and I, I like the way I feel walking around it, when I walk around it, and then fighting at 135, I feel good, I feel strong, I feel limber, so. Now, since you're fighting 135 pounds, does anybody that 135 pounds that cut your eye in the future, you might want to fight in the future. Hmm. Um, yeah, honestly, anybody, anybody, and whoever's ready to, to throw down at one thirty-five, maybe <laughs> one forty, one forty-five. You know, mm -hmm. um, for me, I want to just challenge myself and, and fight. You know, whoever the best is, whoever whoever thinks they're the best. Just to, do you even consider yourself fight at one forty-five? Uh, yeah, it could be a possibility, right? I'd have to bulk up a little bit, maybe walk around somewhere closer to 160, 165, mm -hmm. uh, just to, to be able to build up a little bit more muscle mass and whatnot. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not opposed to it. Uh, I actually enjoy fighting bigger fighters than, than myself. I feel like the speed advantage and yes, it yeah. gives you a big, you know, a lot more utility in the fight. So That's yeah, awesome. open to whoever, whenever, wherever. Who's your main training partner for this upcoming fight? Uh, my main training partner, Trey Orlando, Socrates Hernandez, Garrett Thompson, uh, all those guys, everybody at Cordero Martial Arts, obviously Coach Lawrence, Coach Josh, um, they've been really working with me a lot. So yeah, shout out to all those guys, you know, it wouldn't be, you know, my victories are just as much theirs as it is mine. Um, they're there with me every step of the way, game plan and really, really put their heart and soul into it just as much as I do. So yeah, love you guys. Thank you guys for everything. And well, you have a solid team. Of course. And I'm glad to have a... a Two other your teammates are gonna be on the card too, you know, Trey and then um, uh, Sagardy and uh, what, what's up with Caveman, man? Is Caveman back in training? Yeah, yeah, he's there, he's there. Don't sleep on Caveman. You know, he likes to take those, uh, those last two day fights. Yeah, so, uh, hey, watch out, anybody between 160 to 185, probably. Yeah. Some of the guys don't know who Caveman is. Gary Thompson, yeah, the people's champ. And uh, yeah, yeah, the people's champ is. Uh, I stuck with me on the. When his first day I met him with his crazy haircut, I was just like, this guy looked like a caveman. <laughs> and ever since then, his name just stuck in my head. It's caveman. Yeah. That's uh, pretty awesome. I uh, hope I can see caveman get on the car too. Somebody drop out and he's always down to step up at the last minute, you know. So uh, now, do you have any special loved one, uh, supporters, sponsors um, that you want to ch shout out to? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, first of all, shout out to everybody at the gym, Cordero Martial Arts. Uh, like I said, their vi my victory is just as much theirs as it is mine. I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys, so thank you guys. Um, I want to shout out to Knox, they're the ones who sent me up with the shirt, the shorts, all the sponsors, all that stuff. 
um, Aceto Builders, Davis HVAC, uh, Purple Rose Supply, shout out to y'all over there. Um, yeah, my friends, my family, especially my mom and my dad, um, they kind of have mixed feelings about, you know, their son went to college and got a degree and now he's a fighter and, you know, they have their opinions about that, but they're always there showing support, showing love. So, yeah, there's just too many people to name, you know, I could go on and on about how many people I could, I could thank, but, uh, yeah, shout out to the Second Harvest Food Bank, too, they've been working with me, um, every fight, you know, we donate all of the proceeds of the shirt and the ticket sales to... To a good cause and help feed underprivileged youth here in the, in the Bay Area. So yeah, shout out to them, keeping that going, and yeah, and you of course for giving me the opportunity to to get on this card and make my my pro debut here at the Cow Palace. So, yeah, yep. thank you. Yeah, well, sky's the limit. I always say, uh, always, always want to take out those new talents and um, years down the line. And uh, I'm very curious about how far you can go, and uh, we'll see in the future. We'll tell you know, uh, it's it's always good to see some of the young up and comers and few years down the line they're in a different platform ufc or battle tour one championship all these big uh big promotions and i'm, I'm glad to be part of your uh, uh mma journey so uh, i'm looking forward to see you know another another young man you know, making some noise on this upcoming fight august 19 do not miss it out it's a huge stack card for more information about this upcoming fight card check out dragonhousemma.com all the fight card layout is going to be on there and this event's a live stream pay-per-view on the same day, you guys can make it, order your pay-per-view voucher, and then a day after, it will be televised on a couple Filipino channels in the Philippines. So making sure you guys stay tuned. It's gonna catch a, catch a lot of eyes on this upcoming event. So I'm glad all the fighters are gonna be part of it from the Bay Area. We also have some international fighters will be on, on to this upcoming event as well. So, um, you know, now if your opponent, uh, Maximus Garner, watching this interview, what do you have to say to him? Yeah, I hope your training camp is going well, um, and I'm excited to get in there with you and, you know, two, two people who've been training for a decade or longer, yes. getting in there, it's a, yeah, it's a beautiful thing, man, you know, it shows, it shows the passion of the game and what it really takes to, to get to this level, so looking forward to, to meeting you, looking forward to, you know, exchanging some blows in there in the, in the cage, and yeah, may the best man win. Good I know team. he's an uh, explosive striker, too, you know, this guy got hands, so, so let's see how this is going to play out, yeah. you know, so... Um, and also, like, you know, you get your college degree, you're also getting an MMA degree, too, you know? So that's yeah. a two different degree, that's a degree of a fighting, you know? That's pretty good. Now, do you have any last words you want to say to anybody out there? Any friends? And, uh, and then, uh, you know? Um, yeah, you know, I want to shout out um, my housemates, you know, they get in some extra work with me in the back, uh, the backyard, they get in some work in, so Julio. Backyard fight? Yeah, yeah, you know, just, ah, little, ah. just a little light round, nothing too crazy. <laughs> Julio, Khaled, John. Uh, shout out to you guys, everybody of course who's been supporting the division since the very very first fight back in you know 2021. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for real. Um, it, it's a lot of sacrifice, it's a lot of dedication, but but seeing you know the journey and having everybody there with me every step of the way just makes it that much easier and that much more enjoyable, right? It wouldn't be any fun if you got nobody to celebrate with. Absolutely. So, yeah, uh, thank you. Everybody. Is your parents gonna come watching you? Oh on yeah, for sure. Too? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, the, the only person. Part. The only person that hasn't come and watched me is my grandma. She's oh, yeah. she's really really against it. Um, she get her a front row seat. No, she know. would. Uh, poor woman. She would probably have a heart attack watching. Ah, oh, she's she like I can't go. I can't watch this. It's like it's too much. And I understand. You know, I get more nervous watching my teammates fight than I do like for my own fights. Yeah. So I can't imagine what it must feel like for a parent. Or you know, a grandparent to watch your baby go in there and do their thing. Right? Nice. It's it's, it's nerve wracking, but that's all. Yes, awesome. what we love to do. So. Well, once again, Juan Video uh, from Cordero Martial Art, um, August nineteen. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Give me some love and support. Follow me on Instagram. Our next upcoming event, the one after this, November eleven, going back to Kizar Pavilion. And if I want to get on that card. You know how to get a hold of me. DM me on IG, Facebook, either one of them, and get a get a hold of me. Who's your favorite UFC fighter? My favorite UFC fighter. Oh man, that's pretty difficult to say. Um, Aljamain Sterling is definitely up there. I think he's really underrated, right? Um, the best of men in, in your weight class. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, man, I'm man. always watching him, man. Yeah, he's he's a good, well well rounded fighter, and I like the way he carries himself too. You know, I feel like. Too many people, they're very, I'm a fighter, I'm gonna, you know, you better. It's like, it's not about that, right? We're all martial artists at the end of the day, and there's a lot of people looking up to us. So. One thing I always said, I, I always.
always kind of impressed me. Yeah, people say, I'm, I'm going, I'm ready to die. And I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. You know, if you're smart, you're ready to win. Right. If you're ready to die, you pretty much is prepared to lose, you know? Yeah. So that's, that's what happens. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> and the referee won't let you die, believe it or not. They'll pound your face out. And so uh, some of those fighters say, I'm ready to die. That's a bad line to use it. <laughs> it's not very intelligent, but you know, yes. everybody uses a different line to go in there. Yeah. Prepare for war. That's great. Of yeah. course. So August 19th, I'm Jung Lo signing out. Quan video and see you guys August 19th. Thank you.